In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the entry two criteria, add and subtract two digit numbers. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under entry two. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculator questions and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here's the first one. Liv is thinking about going to work by bus. The journey by bus takes 52 minutes. The journey by car takes 35 minutes. Liv says the car takes 23 minutes less than the bus. Is Liv correct? You must show your working. So we're comparing the bus and the car journey. The bus journey takes longer, so it's 52 minutes. And the car journey, or the journey done by car, takes 35 minutes. Let's work this out. So we need to take away 5 from the 2, starting with the units. So that means we need to borrow 1 from the 5. So this becomes 12. 12 take away 5 gives us 7. 4 take away 3 gives us 1. So that is 17 minutes, not 23. So is live correct? We're going to say no, and we've shown why by doing the calculation. A customer borrows a DVD. She has to pay Ruby, who's the librarian, 75 pence. She also has to pay a 20 pence fine. How much money must the customer give Ruby in total? So that is 70p as well as the 20p. So we're going to add 20p on top of the 75. 5 and 0, that is 5. 7 and 2 is 9. So 95 pence. Dave has 63 white lambs and 45 black lambs on his farm. He thinks he has 118 lambs in total on the farm. Is Dave correct? Give a reason for your answer. So 63 and 45, does that add up? Do they both add up to 118? That's the question. So 63 add 45. Starting with the units, always, 3 and 5, that is 8, 6 and 4, that is 10, so 108, and that's not 118, so is Dave correct, we're going to say no, no, he is not correct. Jay has 95 pounds. He buys a greenhouse. Greenhouse for sale, 69 pounds. How much money will Jay have left over? Show you working. So he has 95 pounds. And then he spends 69 to buy the greenhouse. What do we have left? So we need to take away 9 from the 5 which means we've got to borrow one from this nine here. So this becomes 15. 15 take away nine gives us six. Eight take away six gives us two. So that is 26 pounds because we input pounds. Both the 95 and the 69 were in pounds. Daisy counts the people that enter the fair. So Daisy is actually managing a fair, organising a fair. In the morning, 86 people entered. In the afternoon, 67 people entered. How many people entered the fair 
in total. So total, that means adding these two together, morning as well as afternoon. So 86 add 67. 6 and 7, that is 13. So 3 down and 1 carried over. 8 and 6, that is 14. And the one we carried over, that is 15. So 153. Kay washes her clothes once, then uses the shower once. Washing clothes spends 37 litres, using the shower spends 75 litres. How much water does she use in total? So that is combined for both washing clothes and using the shower. Show you're working. So we're going to do 37 add 75. 7 and 5, that is 12, so 2 down and 1 carried over. 3 and 7, that is 10, and the 1 we carried over, that makes 11. So 112 litres in total. Monica needs 83 plants to fill a flower bed at the park. She only has 56 plants. How many more plants does Monica need? So how many more? We're going to work out by doing 83 take away 56. So we need to take away 6 from the 3, which means we've got to borrow 1 from the 8. So the 3 becomes 13. 13 take away 6 gives us 7. 7 take away 5 gives us 2. So 27 more plants, that's the answer. From now on we can use the calculator. There are 55 bookmarks in the box. Sam gives 28 away. So to give away that means to subtract. How many bookmarks has she got left? So we're going to do 55 take away 28. So using a calculator we'll get 55 take away 28 gives us 27. So 27 bookmarks are left. A customer buys some vegetables for £34. He pays with a £50 note. How much change should Daisy give the customer? Daisy is the shop assistant. So £50 that is got Take away £34 that has been spent on vegetables. We're going to work out how much change. So 50 take away 34 gives us 16. 16 what? 16 pounds because it could be pence as well. So it's important we add that. Jay writes down the weights of vegetables he grows. Potatoes 73 kilograms, marrows 84 kilograms, carrots 19 kilograms. Jay thinks the total weight is over 200 kilograms. Is Jay correct? Give a reason for your answer. So to work out the total weight of the vegetables, we're going to add 73 and 84 and 19. Which gives us 176 kilograms. And that is less than 200, so J is not correct. So we're going to say no, he is not correct. John sees 82 birds, Lily sees 63 birds. How many more birds does John see than Lily? So we're going to work out the difference. So 82 take away 63 should tell us how many more, which is 19 more birds. John has 67 videos on his phone. He takes 36 more videos of birds. How many videos are on his phone in total? So 67 add the 36 should give us the total.
which is 103. These water meters need to be fitted. Gap Street, 84 water meters need to be fitted. Ab Drive, 27 water meters need to be fitted. How many more water meters need to be fitted in Gap Street than in Ab Drive? So how many more? We're going to work out the difference. So 84 take away the 27 should give us how many more? 84 take away 27 gives us 57 more. What is 68 add 24? So 68 add 24 gives us 92. The manager shows the shop assistant how to use the till. There is £17 in the till at the start of the day. At the end of the day there is £98 in the till. They want to know how much money was made from the sales. The manager tells the shop assistant to subtract the money in the till at the start of the day from the money in the till at the end of the day. So to subtract from. So that means we need to start with the 98 and take away the 17. Subtract from the 98. So as we can use a calculator, we'll go 98 take away 17 gives us 81. 81 pounds. And this is the end of the questions.